Last time on Finding Paradise. I guess I can, uh, touch you. That sounds wrong. And the adventure continues. Uh, we just went back a bit. Uh, uh, okay. And we're back to old age. Whoa. We're in the plane. Atlanta Center Cactus 135, cruising flight level 360. ATC. Cactus 135, Atlanta Center Roger. Altimeter setting 3017. Have a good flight. Altimeter 3015. Thank you, Cactus 135. Well, we've got a nice tailwind going for us. First officer. Sir, now that we're in cruise, I just wanted to say, it's an honor to be here as your first officer on your final flight. This may be my first time as first officer, but I won't let you down. <laughs> it's all good. Rather poetic, really. Passing the baton and all. But you should know. As my co-pilot, there are only two things I ever want to hear from you. Two things, sir. Yep. There, yes, Captain, and landing gear down. You're funny, sir. What did I just say? Yes, Captain. <laughs> of course, I'm just messing with you. Just reminded me of back when I did my first flight as first officer, that's all. Man, my captain was a crazy mess. Yes, Captain. Hmm. You know, I just said I was kidding, right? Uh, yes, Captain. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna let my wife and son come in and sit for a bit if you don't mind. Hey, it's my last flight after all. They're not gonna get this view again. Uh, yes, Captain. Here's a weird one. Irene, could you bring my family in? Thank you. That's nice you brought them on the flight. Okay, what's this thingy? Well, I'm glad I clicked on it. Flight regulations were still so chill back in the day, huh? Yeah, times change. Yeah, they had smoking on planes and stuff. Ah, uh, okay, evidently I can't talk to Colin. Well, let's just look throughout the plane then. Oh, hi. Who's the staticky person? So, what'd you two say? One last round? Is it alright with management? Already approved. Special occasion and all. You heard him, Ma. Go, go, go. That's sweet. Let's go back in there. I wanna see too. So, you gonna miss the views? From the big birds? Sure. But it's not like I'm giving up the sky. Oh, don't you go renting those small planes. I don't trust you flying in them. Speaking of, I wish to give you a bigger plane for the last flight of your career. Like one of those monster double-deckers. <laughs> I asked for this particular one myself. I had my first flight with the airline in this. It was a different time back then. A time with lots of peanuts. I miss them so much. You know, Dad. All these years of flying and you've never told me why you chose to be a pilot in the first place. Oh, I haven't, huh? Psst, don't tell your mother, but it was to impress a girl. Yeah? Did it work? Sure, I guess. Oh, please. But the way your father acted, I doubt he dated anyone at all when we met. Shots fired, Dad. Hey, Nafia, don't go spreading false rumors in front of our son. I'll have you know that I was quite the stud back in the days. Oh, his name is Peyton. I didn't see that. Peyton. Captain, just a reminder that we're on record for the black box. Oh, thanks for the reminder. Let the record show that my biceps are out of this world. N no, no, they really aren't. 
Oh, but they are. When I pulled that yoke on takeoff earlier, I practically lifted the entire plane off the ground. Isn't that right, Peyton? Yes, Captain. I see why he set this up now. Well, yeah, well, let me tell y'all a story about this one time involving a jar of pickles. Okay, we need to maintain a sterile cockpit for landing. Let's get you two back to your seats. Off you go now. Shoo, shoo. Uh, so, we're not landing for another couple of hours. I know. He just couldn't take the ridicule. Why the fuck are you sitting in that seat? Huh? Get out of there. Alright, fine, fuck you. So, uh, are you coming with or what? Nah, I like this view. I thought you were acrophobic. Only when I'm not inside a plane. How about you go wrap up this memory? I'll join you shortly after. Are you serious? It's on a loop. Yeah, but the picture from the seat's angle is just absolutely divine. In fact, I pity you or anyone who can't see the way the horizon meets the... Uh, don't give me that shit. Cabbages. Who are you? You just opened the plane door and the... Okay. Thank you for the lovely flight, sir. Cheers. Hope you have a nice day. Hello, little one. Hope you enjoyed the... The landing sucked. Uh, yeah, sorry, it was a little rough. Not one of our better landings, the wind was... Yeah, I, I, I guess I can understand that. It's just shit kinda happens, you know. And well, at least I got one nice comment. Well, actually, I think I need to head back into the cockpit now, so... I thought you were opening the plane door while still flying. Evidently, I don't need to go into the cockpit. Can I step out here? Oh, I can. Okay. Oh, a fellow cellist, huh? Here, let me get that for you. Thank you, sir. Yay, are you good at the cello? Huh, not really. My wife is the real musician of the family. Beautiful instrument, though. I loved playing it as a kid. Huh. Well, oh, is the cello the, the thing? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's get the balls inside it. There we go. Wait, don't I need to go collect, uh, what's his face? Yeah, whatever, I'll just prepare the memento. And just like that, we're good to go. Let's activate it. Sup? Dude, I was just about to... Well, he got there in time. Oh, we're back here now. Okay, that's interesting. Uh... How do we skip to the childhood memories again? And this time the memento isn't even that book. Is there something wrong with the machine, Neil? Huh? It's not the machine. At least, I don't think it is. Well, I guess at least we know that we can go back now. Let's just hope this doesn't interfere with finishing this job. Relax, we'll manage. Are we gonna eventually just like meet up somewhere in the middle of all this? That's just my guess. Is there literally anything else left, Miss Miller? And nope. This is your instrument. Get used to it. Okay, so he just had the cello thrown on him. Love playing the cello as a kid in my arse. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Wow, you belong at grade school. Your childish jabs aside, Eva. And on a unrelated note, this place kind of makes me feel like I'm on the set of some indie French film. Uh, what? What about this possibly makes you feel that way? I don't know. Just a feeling. And then the French music kicks in. Fuck yeah. Alright, uh, let's take a look around. Guess we'll go in here. Okay, there's a school. Yeah. Hey, don't push. I call dibs on the violin. It's so light to carry. I'm gonna get the flute. It fits in my backpack. Uh, 
He looks heavy for a child, that's for damn sure. I see a memory over here though, I think. So let's let's see what's what. What's he doing? Counting dirt, I guess. Oh man, counting dirt. Such good times as a kid. Amazing. If you can get up to a million, you're you're fucking Well, I don't know. Did you see that? Is he carrying that thing or is it carrying him? Looks like just a floating case from behind. Yeah, it does look pretty big and heavy. Why are the trees growing inside the lockers? This is, um... Huh? I have a feeling these aren't exact replicas from the actual setting. It's as if his memories took quite the creative liberty in mixing things up. Interesting. Isn't the machine built with uh, public domain data stabilizers to prevent this? Uh, yeah, but maybe broken? Maybe. You're the tech specialist. Yeah, I'll have a look afterward. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so the school just turned into a playground. That's cool. He's sitting alone on the on the seesaw thingy. Wow, this is awkward to watch. Eva, why do we get all these losers as our clients? Maybe because you're here, moron. Ah, oh, well, that's a nice compliment on the Gauze's law for magnetism. Okay. Well, I need to find one more memento somewhere around here. Oh, I can go inside this room. I didn't know that. Oh, hey, he sits at the back. That's cool. He's a cool kid. Miss Parker. Colin. Colin. Uh, the answer is C. W what? I'll ask you again. What is the radius of this circle? Uh... Where's your head at, Colin? Go stand out in the hall. You see, that's redundant, though. How's he supposed to learn that the, the radius of that circle was if he's got to go stand out in the hallway? You're a terrible teacher. Hmm, I think I saw something on the wall back there. Um, we'll stay. We'll stay. I need to see what the hell- Oh! That's different. I don't miss red, I think. I therefore, I must touch it. Hmm, that could be our ticket out of here. Alright, I think we could reach it if we just... Nah, I got this. Let me find a way. Uh, what? What are you talking about? Let me find a way to get to it. I got nothing. I don't know what you want from me. Oh, okay, so it's got something to do with the plant? Is that a freaking wand? Oh, wait, you didn't disable the... Mobilirbus, uh, teacher's deskus. Holy shit. Is she, is she just watching that happen? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. And down. There you go. Did you kids just flipping see that? Dude. Reset. Okay, first of all, disable reactive interactivity before you pull that stuff. And second of all, that's not even how the spell goes. Uh, yeah, this did you see that thing fly? They sure did, you village idiot. Oh, I think it worked pretty well. Let's get up to that clock now. Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. I guess I was expecting you to start saying dumb things again. Eva. Eva. Do you know how draining it is to unleash a Kamehameha or a, and a Hajduken simultaneously? I mean, I know I'm a pro, but even I need my beauty sleep. Well, let's, uh, let's prepare this thing then. Puzzle time. This seems slightly more complicated. It wasn't complicated. <laughs> Alright, time to activate it. Let's get going. Are we back to old age again? Um, are we back to the old age period again? Well... 
Yeah, seems like it. And here it is, the perfect retirement apartment. We sure are. Okay, I think I got it figured out. Hmm? I mean, we haven't just been jumping back and forth randomly, right? There's a pattern to it. With all our other patients, we began from the most recent point and gradually traced backwards. And in this case, it did start like that. For the first few memories in his oldest time, everything went just as normal. But then, we somehow got slingshot in. All the way to the earliest accessible memory. So we cleared that and once again got leaped back. To the older times where we left off. Then to the earlier ones again, moving forward. And once more to the older time, moving backward. These jumps aren't in a random order, and nor do they just form any pattern. It's the pattern of a decaying orbit. Something occurred around that time then. It's almost as if we're being pulled in, spiraling towards a gravitational center. A gravitational center, huh? Inappropriate context for physics aside, what do you think is causing this? Some oh-so-deep event of melodramatic angst that traumatized a fine gentleman? I don't know. Maybe it is a memory of that sort, but... Maybe it's something else. Uh, something else. What could be here other than memories? Like I said, I don't know. It's just that we've seen a lot of patients, and there's never been a memory that's done this. Alright. I guess at least this one isn't routine then. Hmm, we'll see. Alright, well, let's find us some, uh, some mementos. Fred, one bedroom with balcony and there's also an attic for storage. How often do you find attics in an apartment, huh? Not to mention the lake view. I thought the lake is on the other side of the building, though. Yeah, but this unit's on the edge, so you can see if you hold out a mirror from the balcony. Typical fucking salesman. Here, have a brochure. Okay, well, to the kitchen then. And this is the kitchen. If you pay attention to the walls, you'll notice that it hasn't had even one fire accident. Man, you are just, you're, you're selling the shit out of this place, man. Of course, if it had, the whole place would have surely burnt down, being an apartment and all. Like I said, you are really fucking selling this place. Uh, I mean, of course, it won't happen because y'all seem like careful folks, right? I guess what I'm saying is, um, fi fire safety is very important. You're just fucking awful. Alright, let's try the, uh, the office area then, I guess. Nothing here right now. What's this? The brochure for the apartment. Okay. Well, let's check out the music room then what what became the music room you said you're a musician right this room is perfect for performances there's very little room for an audience though so you'd probably be playing alone which is kind of sad but i digress god you're just a fucking dick jesus let's check the balcony then and then i'm guessing the next one's upstairs and as you can see, this is why they call this the Lakeview Residence. I mean, you can't literally see because the lake's behind us on the other side, but... If you extend your head off the balcony to the left, you might be able to see a bit of it. Uh, don't though. You'd fall off. Okay, on we go. You're just the fucking worst. Colin, you deserve better. No words, huh? Same. Oh, what's this? So, what do you think? 
Well, it is nice and quiet. I like it. Me too, but... I would have liked it better if you just didn't talk, Fred. Yeah, that really didn't help. At all. If you weren't my cousin's friend's brother, we would have walked out by now. More like ran out. I'm sorry, you guys. I'm not good at sales. Clearly. So, um, sorry to be blunt, but are you gonna take it? Because there's a deposit fee, you see, which technically I could elope with, but I promise I... Stop talking. We'll take it. Mm-hmm. Cool. Okay, um... Is that... Huh, wasn't this just a brochure a moment ago? Oh, it's, um, it's a paper airplane now, I think. Eh, I guess he just folded it. What's the issue? Well, if I'm guessing right... Aha! Being a memento, it's kinda odd that it came to be without a seeing. Huh. In any case, at least it's convenient. I didn't see another way out of this place. Alright, well, um... I need to check the attic. That's the next place, I think. Yep, yeah, as I figured, the next one is up here. Alright, let's chat. An attic in an apartment, isn't it amazing? I think this floor is otherwise reserved for heating and utility units for the building. If something in the building explodes, I guess it probably hit pretty close. Once again, you're just fucking great at this. Okay, I'm trying to feel spooked about the memory leap thing, but this isn't helping. Yeah, fair enough. Alright, let's get to the, uh, the, the memento thingy, but do that. And get out of here. Alright. Let's put the glowy balls in the, the thing and crack it open. Bam. Prepare that memento. I'm gonna prepare the shit out of it. Alright, there we go. Another paper airplane. Cool. Let's get out of here.